I would like to introduce you to two very special friends of mine named Jake and Jenny. They have amazing kingdom adventures together, and in this story, Jake and Jenny actually go up Jacob's ladder. Just like Jacob in the Bible, they meet Jesus at the top of the ladder by the gate and wait till you see what he shows them in heaven. You might want to take an adventure there yourself. Let's begin our story. Our story begins. Jake and Jenny were twins. Jake had bragging rights to being the oldest, but as Jenny would remind him often, you're only older by five minutes, and that doesn't make you any smarter. They would often make fun of each other, especially about Jake being older. But the fact was they were the very best of friends. Jake and Jenny shared a nursery ever since they were born. Their mom said that maybe it was time to have their own rooms. But both of them liked sharing a room and being together, even though they were almost six and learning to read. They were as different as day and night. Even their bunk beds had their personal touch. Jake was always running and jumping. Jenny liked to be more quiet and thoughtful. Every night, Jake and Jenny would kneel by their beds. One would begin to pray and the other would continue, sometimes finishing the other sentence, as twins often do. Heavenly Father, Jake would pray, Thank you for our family. Jenny would then say, Thank you for looking after us every day. Bless Daddy, Mommy, and Grandpa. Jake would then say, And Lord, don't forget Grandma too. They continued in this manner until together they would say, Amen really loudly. One evening, Jake and Jenny watched a movie with their mom and dad. It was called Heaven is for Real. They love popcorn and movie nights. Everyone loves popcorn, especially Jake. After the movie, Jenny jumped into bed and asked, Jake, what do you think heaven's like? Well, the boy in the movie saw some people he knew there. He saw his grandfather and his sister, and it sure seemed like a real place, Jake replied. Thoughtfully, Jenny said, Miss Marlene at Sunday school said Jesus told his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. She said that means that when you hold your hand up to your face and feel the warmth, that's how close heaven is. Hmm... Miss Marlene must know a lot about God. Afterwards, the twins lay in their beds without talking for a long time. They were both looking up at the ceiling, and they were thinking about heaven. Remember the story of Jacob in the Bible, Jenny asked? Yes, of course, Jake replied. He's the guy that went up the ladder. He has my name, Jacob. I wonder if his dad called him Jake, too. Then... Rather sheepishly, Jake said, when I remember the story, I can see it. It is like a movie in my mind. I can see the angels going up and coming down, just like in the story Miss Marlene reads us. Oh, Jake, sometimes I do that too, Jenny said excitedly. Let's imagine together. That night, Jenny and Jake said another prayer. Heavenly Father, would you show us heaven like you did for the boy in the movie? They both laid their heads on their pillows and were very quiet. They imagined a ladder that reached up from their beds right into the sky. It seemed to go up and up and up. Oh my, Jenny said quietly. I can really see angels and it looks like a long staircase. Me too, said Jake. I'm going to go up. If you're going, I'm going too, Jenny smiled, and she saw the stairs that reached right through the clouds. I can see a gate at the top, Jenny. Do you see it? Jake was surprised, but then Jenny said, Yes, I can, and I see a person there waiting for us to come up. On the way up the stairs, Jenny and Jake looked closely at the angels. They were smiling, and they were very happy to see them. Jake did a high five at one of them. He was very surprised when the angel high fived him right back. 
Wow, said Jake. Angels are really cool. The angel kept going down the stairs as though he had an important mission, and Jake kept moving up towards the gate. When they arrived at the top, the gate was open. Jake and Jenny could not believe their eyes. It was Jesus. Both of them gave him the biggest hug ever. Jesus laughed and hugged them both tightly. Welcome, he said. I've been waiting for your visit. Wow, said Jake. You knew we were coming? Oh, yes, he said. Would you like to look around? Yes, please, they shouted in unison. They looked at each other with big smiles on their faces. They were talking to Jesus, and he wanted to show them heaven. What do you see, he asked. I see beautiful stones, Jake said. I see a river. May I throw stones into the river? Without waiting for an answer, he ran ahead and picked up a stone, and they tried to make it skip on the water, just like his dad taught him. Jenny was embarrassed. Sometimes Jake gets so excited. Jesus smiled at her and said, When I was a boy, I skipped stones on the water, too. Really, Jenny said as she picked up a stone. I think these are too pretty to throw into the river. I love the colors and how they glow in the sunlight. Jenny put the stone in her pocket. She was not going to throw it away. She called to Jake to come back to the path. Jesus was very patient and waited for Jake to join them. What do you see down the path, he asked. Both Jenny and Jake looked and saw the most amazing garden with flowers, trees, and a river flowing gently through it. There was a bench right beside the river. Jake ran ahead and climbed one of the trees. He yelled from the very top, You can see mountains from here. Get down, Jake. You're making me nervous. What if you fall? Jake jumped down from the top. Jenny couldn't believe her eyes. He seemed to float down like he was able to fly. This place is amazing, he said. Jenny sat down and looked at a beautiful flower. She was very curious. She wanted to pick it, but wasn't sure if she should. She looked up to see Jesus. He just nodded and smiled. As Jenny picked the flower, the most wonderful thing happened. Another flower immediately took its place. Nothing dies in this garden, and strangely, Jenny also heard soft music and sounds. What is this place, she wondered. As she looked up from the flowers, Jenny saw that Jake and Jesus were sitting on the bench by the river. Jesus was showing Jake his hands. The scars were still there. Jake was sitting quietly for the first time. Then Jake hugged Jesus very tightly and softly said in a whisper, Thank you. There's another place I would like you to see, Jesus said. Jake and Jenny looked around them. They could only see the garden and the river. Is it the mountain that I saw from the top of the tree? Jake asked, trying to guess. This place has a special entrance, Jesus replied. Look around you. Then they saw it. The small old gate was hidden in the bushes. They could see a path leading to it. It was not well worn, but you could clearly see the way. The gate opened as they arrived. As they walked in, Jesus pointed to the shelves. This room is called Destiny Scrolls. Many want to know what is written in the book of their life, but few have come to this room. Jake just stood there wondering if he could climb up the tall library ladders. Jesus knew exactly what Jake was thinking and said, Go ahead. There is a book here with your name on it. Jake needed no more encouragement. He was up the ladder faster than you could say, See you later, alligator. There he was again, climbing and making the ladder go across the shelves. They moved effortlessly as Jake whisked back and forth. Then Jenny saw it. She couldn't believe it. There it was in plain sight, not hidden on a shelf. It was right there. Best of all, it had a name on it. 
Jenny. Jenny took the book to the bench in the garden. She saw that some of the pages of her book were empty. She began to wonder, If this is a book about me, why can't I see everything that's going to happen in the future? Jesus knew what she was thinking, and he replied, The words on your pages are given to you each day so that we can live that day together. When people want to know about things too far ahead, it makes them worry and sometimes careless. You can come here and read your book with me every day. Jenny was worried. How do I carry around such a big book all the time, she asked. Jesus replied, Jenny, this book is actually written on your heart. You can't always see it as clearly as when it's in your lap like this, but you can always sit with me, and I will help you to know what is written on it. Jake joined them at the bench. He had found his book, too. They both seemed to understand. Your heart often knows what your eyes can't see, Jesus said to them both. This is a place in the garden that you can come and visit me any time. How can we come here again, Jake and Jenny asked together. Have you forgotten so soon, Jesus said. Remember the ladder? Do you remember climbing it and seeing the angels? I was at the top waiting for you. Oh, yes, Jenny said, Jacob's ladder. Yes, your hearts found a pathway that your mind had hidden, Jesus said to them very softly. It is a mystery, but in it you will find me. When you find this pathway and travel it often, the path will become well-worn and familiar. I am always waiting for you to come to see me. Come to me any time you want. Go on back now, and you will see what I mean. Jake and Jenny walked back down the same path that they had traveled to the garden. They saw the gate and the stairs. The angels were still going down and up. Together holding hands, they walked back down. When they reached the bottom, they looked up. Jesus was standing there smiling. They waved and called to him, See you again soon. The next morning, Jenny said excitedly, Did you see what I saw last night, Jake? Then they both became very quiet. It had felt so real. Jake asked, Do you think it was just a dream? The stairs, the angels, the garden, the river? I climbed the tree. The books, Jenny, the books, you saw them too. Jake was suddenly very quiet. Oh, my goodness, he spoke in a whisper. Jenny, look. Jake opened his hand. It had been tightly closed, and now Jenny's eyes got bigger and bigger. There in Jake's hand was a stone from the river. Then she remembered from her pocket she took out a stone too, a perfect gemstone from the path by the river. Just then, their mom came into their room. Good morning, my darlings. Did you sleep well? Oh, mom, they said together. Heaven is really real. Would you like us to take you there? Thank you for listening. Jacob's Ladder was written and illustrated by Helen Taves and is based on the scripture in Genesis. Genesis 28, 16, and 17 says, Then Jacob woke from his sleep and said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I did not know it. And he was afraid and said, How awesome is this place! None other than the house of God, and this is the gate of heaven. For more inspirational books for children by this author, you may go online to www.theriver.com. 474.com